June 19th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalm chapter 72 from the Old Testament. O God, grant the king the ability to make just decisions. Grant the king's son the ability to make fair decisions. Then he will judge your people fairly and your oppressed ones equitably. The mountains will bring news of peace to the people and the hills will announce justice. He will defend the oppressed among the people. He will deliver the children of the poor and crush the oppressor. People will fear you as long as the sun and moon remain in the sky for generation after generation. He will descend like rain on the mown grass, like showers that drench the earth. During his days, the godly will flourish. Peace will prevail as long as the moon remains in the sky. May he rule from sea to sea and from the Euphrates River to the ends of the earth. Before him the coastlands will bow down and his enemies will lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the coastlands will offer gifts. The kings of Sheba and Seba will bring tribute. All kings will bow down to him. All nations will serve him. For he will rescue the needy when they cry out for help and the oppressed who have no defender. He will take pity on the poor and needy, the lives of the needy he will save. From harm and violence he will defend them, he will value their lives. May he live, may they offer him gold from Sheba, may they continually pray for him, may they pronounce blessings on him all day long. May there be an abundance of grain in the earth, on the tops of the mountains may it sway. May its fruit trees flourish like the forest of Lebanon. May its crops be as abundant as the grass of the earth. May his fame endure. May his dynasty last as long as the sun remains in the sky. May they use his name when they formulate their blessings. May all nations consider him to be favored by God. The Lord God, the God of Israel, deserves praise. He alone accomplishes amazing things. His glorious name deserves praise forevermore. May his majestic splendor fill the whole earth. We agree. We agree. This collection of the prayers of David, son of Jesse, ends here. God, I, I love the part where it says all kings will bow down to him. All nations will serve him. And sometimes it feels like we will, we will never get to that point. It just feels like the word, world just keeps getting further and further away from you. Keep finding excuses to not take responsibility for things, to push you away, to make fun of you, to believe in things that are lesser than you are, or to believe in nothing at all. I, I live in Seattle, biggest group of atheists in the United States up here. Really? How can you believe in nothing at all? At least, if you're agnostic, it's not all about you. I digress. God, I... I want everyone to bow down to you. I want all nations to serve you. I want that time to come. It breaks my heart every single day watching people choose their way, their will, their kingdom over yours. And I'm just as much to blame. I get caught up in my own desires for things. And I don't pay attention to your will for my life. And I am working on that. But it just feels like this world just gets further and further away from you. You have a remnant here on earth. You have people who are passionate about you, who are passionate about the cause, who are passionate about telling others about this amazing love that you have for us. God, I pray that you use us. I pray that you use this remnant for exactly what you have used the remnant for throughout our entire time here on earth. To reflect your glory. To show that you are sovereign over everything. That there's not a single thing that has more control in this world than you. You created everything in this world. 
God, my heart breaks. My heart breaks that not everybody goes through life with this peace that you've put in my heart. That not everybody goes through life understanding what true love really is. Not the worldly true love, but the love you have for us. And I still don't completely understand the love you have for us. But I have a much better handle on what true love is now that you've come into my life and into my heart. God, my heart breaks for people who don't know forgiveness. Who have to carry around the burden of their guilt day in and day out and confront situations with that burden on top of everything else. God, my heart breaks so much for people who don't understand grace. Who've never received grace from the world and yet you are there with your hands open ready to receive them, to give them grace, to give them forgiveness, to give them love. God, my heart breaks. And I know if my heart is breaking for other people who don't worship you, who don't bow down before you, I know that's coming from the place that you live at inside my heart. I'm human. My thoughts are very selfish. My thoughts are very self-focused. And if I'm caring this much about other people and their relationship with you and their eternal life with you, I know that that comes from your place in my heart. And that makes me smile. God, I can't wait for people to fear you as long as the sun and moon remain in the sky for generation after generation. I love this psalm and what it says about you and your sovereign reign. God, send your son back. I want every knee to bow down before you and worship you as our king. In your son's name I pray. Amen. Amen.